welcome to my channel. So today's video is all about an at home date night, hashtag bay night. And in this video, we're gonna be sharing with you how to get this easy pasta dish and how we go about just doing an easy at home date night. So maybe this video will give you guys some inspiration if you're thinking about doing a cozy night in with bay. And this video is being sponsored by BET Plus, which is a new streaming service that I am so excited about because I love me some BET and BET Plus has all the good movies and shows that we love with more than a thousand hours of ad free content. So I'll definitely let you guys know a little bit more about it later in the video. We're going to go ahead and get started. So whenever we do an at-home date night, it normally starts around 8 and that way Uriah is in bed and asleep. So the first thing I like to do is light candles and this helps set the mood and the ambiance. After setting the mood with candles and music, of course we had to get a glass of wine. And this is just one that we picked up at the local grocery store, but I really enjoyed it. So it was some type of Alabama red wine. It was a little sweet, but it wasn't too sweet and it wasn't dry. I don't really like a dry, dry wine. I'm not like a wine connoisseur or anything, but whenever I do have wine, I don't like it to be too dry, but this one was really nice. chit chatting enjoying the music and the wine and mainly talking about how good the wine is because it was only 10 bucks so I wasn't expecting it to be that great but I really enjoyed it so now we're gonna go ahead and get started with the dinner recipe and it's super duper simple you guys it's literally just a one pan chicken parmesan pasta and it is so great so you don't have to get a ton of dishes dirty but you get all the flavor of chicken parm. So yeah, it's really, really simple. The first thing that you need to do is just go ahead and heat a little bit of olive oil on medium high. And I will have all the ingredients and the instructions in the description box below in case you guys are interested. want to go ahead and cut up some onion and garlic and you're gonna add that to the pan with the olive oil and it's gonna cook for about two to three minutes and the dish does have chicken in it obviously so you want to cut the chicken into small pieces and season it with whatever you'd like I'm just using black pepper and this Tony Cheshire seasoning do you want to get close baby we can do this all night keep on second guessing I love on telling you guys you're gonna add the onion and the garlic to the pan and cook it for about two to three minutes or until it's soft and once you get that all good and cooked you want to go ahead and add the chicken to the pan as well how long has it been since I kissed you I don't want to wait and for just a little bit of extra seasoning to the chicken, I'm gonna add this Italian seasoning and then also garlic powder. And 
and you want to go ahead and add your marinara sauce and we're just using the brand ragu so once you get all the sauce in the pan you want to take the jar and you want to fill it up with water and then you want to add that water to the pan and that way you get all the extra sauce and you do need a little bit of water so yeah you're pretty much just killing two birds with one stone so yeah this is definitely a must You want to go ahead and add your pasta to the mix and we use penne noodles you want to cook your noodles for about 10 to 15 minutes until they're nice and tender so go ahead and mix it in and add the lid back to the pan to add some fresh parsley to the mix and also as a garnish so Colton went ahead and cut that up While the pasta is cooking you want to make sure that you're checking it occasionally and stirring it so it doesn't stick to the bottom If you like cheese you want to go ahead and add that in so we're using mozzarella and then also parmesan cheese so you just want to get that in there and go ahead and mix it in you have me in you, you, you take me higher. I don't wanna wait. to finish it up we're gonna add parsley and mozzarella cheese as a garnish and we're gonna let it cook for about five more minutes so if you guys are interested in trying out this dish I will have all the ingredients and the directions in the description box ahead and prep for our dessert and we're gonna be having s'mores which is one of my favorites so I got the s'mores machine from Amazon and it's so cool because we can take it in the living room with us and make our s'mores after we finish with dinner but yeah I'm just putting everything that we need on this little tray that I got from Walmart I love getting my dishes from there because they're so affordable and I just love a nice white dish but yeah we're just taking everything to the living room and we're gonna set up there And after we got our pasta, we made our way back to the living room so we could watch something good. And we're using the BET Plus streaming service, which I'm so excited about because they have so many great movies and shows that I personally love. And BET Plus is available on the App Store, Apple TV, Google Play, Amazon, pretty much anywhere. And it's $9.99 a month. So I will have a link below in case you guys are interested in checking it out. But they have a lot of great shows. And we've been watching a show called Bigger. I'm pretty sure it's exclusive to BT Plus, but it's so good. It's about this girl who's dating a guy. He proposes, but she has a side guy. Y'all, it's so good. Hashtag messy, but it's really good. So definitely be sure to check out BT Plus. They have all the great movies and the classics. They have Martin, the Medea movies, Boys in the Hood, like all the classics they have on BT Plus. So definitely be sure to check it out and I will have a link in the description box. I just wanna call see if we're okay, babe. All I wanna ask you is Once we 
got finished with our dinner, we went ahead and got started with our s'mores. And I absolutely love this tabletop s'mores maker. It's so convenient. I ordered it from Amazon for about 25 bucks. So I'll put a link below in case you guys are interested in checking it out. So that's our at home date night video. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe it gave you some inspiration for your at home date night. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye.